Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the T's. We have been solving math problems, part of this book here, the ATI study manual, the sixth edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 150. This is the 50th video, 50th video on the problems, math problems from this book. If you're interested in getting some more practice, you will find that we have already solved every single math problem that appeared in the previous edition, the fifth edition, and you will find the solution to those, T is 5, you will find the solutions to those problems from day 1 through 80. Let's get going. Today, we will solve a problem that you see on page number 92 there is a figure that is given to us that looks something like this One. now the numbers that I'm going to put here the dimensions that I'm going to put here on the blackboard they are different than what you see in the book and I'm doing it on purpose because I would like you to solve the problem that you see the figure that you see in the book yourself let's do one extra one on the blackboard here so we are told that this is 8 centimeter and you will see that is not what you have in the book in the book it says 4 centimeters this is 12 centimeters we are told from here to here this length here is 3 centimeters 3 centimeters and this is 5 centimeter and we are being asked to find the perimeter and the area of this picture let's get going perimeter and the area before we talk about perimeter of such an irregular shape uh, uh, figure or for that matter perimeter of something like this I'm going to make it even even stranger If I tell you that this is 15 centimeter and this is 12 centimeter, can you tell me the perimeter of this, this picture? Do you, do you have any idea how to figure out the perimeter? Well, it's very simple. Watch what happens. Okay, watch what happens. This distance that you see here, this distance that you see here, and this distance that you see here, and this distance that you see here, that has to add up to 12 centimeter. This part, this part, this part, that part is just 12. And similarly, this part that you see here, this distance right here, this distance, and this distance, and this part, these three segments add up to 15. So how do you find out the perimeter of a regular rectangle if it's 12 by 15? Well, it's very simple. Perimeter of a rectangle, perimeter of a rectangle is simply 2 times length plus width. The perimeter is equal to 2 times length plus width. Why 2 times? Why two times length? Because there are two lengths. This is your length and there is another length. This plus that. There's two lengths and two widths. There's a width here and a width here. Two W's and two L's right there. That's what it is. So it's going to be two times 15 which is 30 and two times 12 which is 24. The perimeter of this guy is 30 plus 24. That's all. The same exact thing here. This has a length of 12 and this has a, this has a, a width of 8. 12 plus 8 is 20 perimeter of that thing is 40. You don't have to turn it into a freak show. Perimeter of this thing is just 40. It's a matter of a few seconds. It's a matter of a couple of... It should take no more than 2 or 3 seconds to figure it out. 12 plus 8 is 20, so it's 2 times 20. If you want to do it out, if you want to waste your time and just do it, quote unquote, do it out, this is what you will do. Watch what happens. This is what you will do. What is not given to us is this side. What is not given to us is this side. They don't tell us how long this side is. And they expect us to find it out, which we'll do. If this is 12, if from here to here is 12, and from here to here is 5, then this missing side must be 7. And now you add them all out. Uh, all, add them all up, and let's see what we get. So we're going to add, as, as, we, as we add them, I'm going to put a check mark so we don't miss anything. Let's start from here, we we'll go clockwise. So here's 12. We're going to go clock. Don't go all over, go systematically. Go clockwise. Clockwise. We're going to go clockwise. 12, then 3, then 7, then 5, so that we don't miss anything, and then 8. 
Now what do you suppose it's going to add up to? It's going to add up to 40 obviously, we already talked about it. The parameter of this thing is just 12 plus 8 times 2. Because this length right here, 3 plus this thing. Oh, we missed this thing. Oh, blast it. I missed that. I can't believe it. This is 3 and this is 8. So this must be 5. See, this is why you don't want to do it in an in a, in a, in a annoying, uh, nitty-gritty way. It's not necessary. I missed that 5. That 5 comes up. That 5 comes after 7. Oh, it is here. No, that 5 is this 5. So we need one more 5. And 8. See, watch. 12 plus 3 plus 7 plus 5. This is the 5 that I had missed before. And then another 5 and then 8. Let me add them all up. They should add up to 40. They are going to add up to 40. Why? Because this length right here, if this is 3, if this, this is 3, and from here to here is 8, then this missing part must be 5. Similarly, if from A to B is 12, and C to D is 5, then this missing part must be 7. And if you add them all up, it's going to be 40. Because it's 2 times length and 2 times width. Because you see, 5 plus 7 is 12. And similarly, 5 plus 3 is going to be 8. That's how we found this 5. If this is 3 cm and this is 8 cm, this must be 5 cm. So 5 plus 5 is 10, 7 plus 5 is 15, so so far we have 10 and 15, that's 25, and another 15. One more time, one more time, stay with me in this story. 12 plus 3 is 15, and 7 plus, 7 plus 8 is 15, this is 7 plus 8 is 15. So that's a 15, that's a 15, that's 30, and then 10, 40. But we didn't have to go in a nitty gritty way, this was very annoying way. It doesn't matter how weird it is, it's just going to be length plus the width. The tricky part is the area. We have to figure out the area of it. I should have made a mess of this thing. It really is a mess. I'm going to redraw it so that we can actually work with it. This is 5 and that was 7. This is 5. And this is 7. Why is it 7? Because 7 plus 5 is 12. How do we find the area of this thing? Well, there are two ways we can go about it. Here's the first way. First way is to chop it up like this and figure out the area of this part right here. This rectangle, that's the rectangle, that's the rectangle, that's 8 by 5. Let's make a note of it that this rectangle is 8 by 5. So, this, so the area is going to be 8 by 5 plus the area of this guy. Let's put it in a different color. The area of this guy. And this rectangle is, it is 3 cm by 7 cm. This is 3 by 7 plus 3 by 7. And there you go, that's your area. Chop it up into, into, into parts that are manageable. Chop it up into parts that are regular, easy to manage, easy to deal with like a rectangle, square, circle, semicircle, something that you can manage. Because if it's an irregular shape and you try to figure out the, uh, the, the area of that thing the way it is, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very difficult. So that was one way. Let's see what that adds up to. 8 plus 5 is 40 and 3 plus 7 is 21. Looks like the area is 61. Aha! But 61 what? Hippos, monkeys or bananas? You have to have the units. The units here are going to be, this is, this is, you see this 8, 8 centimeter by 5 centimeter. So this is centimeter squared, squared centimeter. 3 centimeters and 7 centimeters. 3 centimeters, centimeter times centimeter is centimeter squared. The area is 61 squared centimeter. The area is 61 squared centimeter. Here's the other way. Here's the other way. And for that actually I'm going to redraw it so that we have it nicely. Okay, I'm not going to put the units right now. This is 12, this is 7, and this is 5, and this is 5, and this is 8. Watch what happens. Watch what happens. Another way we could have figured out the area of this shape is instead of instead of breaking up in two parts, extend it. Extend it out and make it an entire rectangle A, B, C, D. What's the area of A, B, C, D? What's the area of the rectangle A, B, C, D? Well, it's just length times width. So, 
A, B, C, D, length times width. The length, the length is 12, the width is 8. So it's 12 times 8. And now we have to take away the part that we added. We have to take away this part. We have to subtract that part. We don't need that part. So it's going to be minus, minus what? Minus the area of this guy, which is, as you can clearly see, which is 5 by 7. This, this part that we added is simply 5 by 7. So we have to take that away. Let's see, what, let's see what we find at the end. I'm very curious. This should have said 12 by 8. It's not 18 by 8. It's 12 by 8. 12 by 8. I wonder what 12 times 8 is. Do you wonder that? I wonder it too. Let's find out, shall we? 12 times 8, I wonder what that is. Here's what we do. 10 times 8 is 80. And 2 times 8 is 16. One more time. Let's do it on the top here somewhere. So we can understand what we just did. You see? This is 12. And we do understand that 12 is simply made up of 10 and a 2. So this 10 digits tells us how many 10s we have. That's why it's called 10th digit. Not 10th digit. 10th digit with S. How many tens do we have? We have only one ten. And then we have two unit digit. So we have to multiply 12 by 8, 12 by 8. Instead of multiplying 12 by 8, let's just multiply it by 10 first. This is a 10, that's another one. 10 times 8 is 80. And then 2 times 8 is 16. That's a 96. Minus 7 times 5, which is 35. I wonder what we will get when we do do it out. 96 minus 35. I wonder that. I don't know about you, but the suspense is absolutely killing me. We get 1 and 9 minus 3 is 6. 6 square centimeter. What do you know? Same as before. So we can do it this way where we break it up into two parts and do 8 by 5 plus 8 by 5 plus 21. Or we can do it this way, which is the entire thing, 8 by 12. 8 by 12 minus this part that is not doesn't, that doesn't belong there, which is 5 by 7. And you get the same answer. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.